So, downtown Austin, uh, we've got a YCIV air-cooled chiller York here that the condenser fans were blowing a fuse uh, once it started to stage up through the fans. Um, we ohmed them out and we found that fan number two was reading about 20 to 30,000 ohms. That was kind of bouncing around on all three legs to ground. It was the only, only condenser fan motor that was. So we uh, traced it out. We actually went to the motor, pulled the motor out, and disconnected the motor, which is... Which, that's motor two right there. So we pulled the motor, isolated it. Motor checked perfect. But then we checked the harness back to ground, and sure enough, uh, we were still getting that same 20, 30,000 ohms. Went back and started looking, and this was zip tied. And sure enough, right here, you can see it. They had the zip tie too tight to the frame of this fan bracket and just freaking wore it out, shorted it right to ground. So, anyway. We'll come in here. We've got to uh, put all this wiring back together now, replace the fuses. We'll be able to fix fix that at, at bare minimum temporarily, um, just so it can get back online until we can get a more permanent fix down the road to where it you know looks a little cleaner. Normally, I like to rerun those wires, but uh, you know we'll do what we need to to get it online. Crazy, crazy, crazy. A tech tip real quick though. Something I want to warn you guys about. Got your meter. Is with your meters. It's really, really important. So on this particular one. You cycle over. When you're at this continuity setting. Where it just says ohms. You're only able to read ohms. That does You, you cannot read uh, kilo ohms or mega ohms at that point so if you're trying to read uh, any kind of um, shorts to ground or anything it, it, that that might trip you up because it may say oh well but it still be shorting to ground because it's a higher reading than this will allow you to read so with a meter like this make sure that whenever you're if you're manually selecting go to meg or let it go to auto range on there you see that on the auto range it's showing millions of ohms and that will uh, actually adjust to if you know if you have millions or uh, kilo ohms or whatever so on my personal meter that i use i i have a a, a bench meter or a block meter depending on how you want to call it and what it does is I can manually select the range of my ohms. And so anytime I'm ohming something out like this, I always start at the highest range. And then if I see zero ohms at the highest range, I step the range down until I get an actual usable reading I can do something with. Anyway, guys, this one's pretty uh, pretty straightforward. We'll, uh, we'll get this fixed up and move on.